Hello YouTube, it's Doss Gregor, and welcome back to another Linux review. Today we're looking at something new. It was a rough week for me, and I decided, what the heck, let's go to DistroWatch now that it's back online, and just hit a random Linux flavor and see what I get. And I got LXLE. LXLE is a Lubuntu-based distribution of Ubuntu 14.04. It is sporting the LXDE desktop and is geared towards lightweight, fast, efficient, and the attempt to revive that old system that you may have hiding in the corner. Now, I've looked at a few different reviews of different lightweight distros and honestly I, I like a lot more the Debian based ones a little better uh, Antix is one of my favorites but if you like Ubuntu this may be a flavor that you may want to try on some of that old hardware it comes with a very picturesque background as you can see I was trying to remind myself of the artist that is most familiar with this style and of course my mind goes blank when I think of such things but that is the artsy you know look and feel of this distro not to say that it has anything to do with its robust ability to bring life back into old PCs while looking at this distro this week I found that I did run across a few problems uh, simple to fix but still just maybe my lack of understanding with the Ubuntu methods and some features uh, caused me a little bit of strife uh, for instance it says it should boot up within one minute and I do have a Core i7 which is much more powerful than this OS would ever need uh, but it seems to have an issue with its networking when it first starts up I'm going to assume it's because I'm using wireless and possibly the networking sees the Ethernet port and is trying or attempting first to connect to the network through it. It sits there saying attempting to set up the network and then again adding an additional 60 seconds while we work on the network. And then it finally goes into the OS. I thought about tweaking it and seeing what I could do to stop it from doing that and said, you know, for this review, I can deal with it. It's not that big of an issue. Once I was inside, I could not get my wireless to work at first until I realized that I needed to start a Wicked or WICD. Once I started the WICD client, I was then able to see my wireless network connect to it and get networking functioning right away. It would be kind of nice if new distributions like this would just go ahead and have a script set up to run the wicked GUI right away and then have you up with an option maybe to shut it off later uh, so it's not always starting at boot up. Once I did configure that I got my networking beautiful and I was off and running testing out LXLE. Now if I remember right, LXLE does stand for uh, LXDE Luxury Edition. Now it does come with a lot of good applications. If uh, Simple things that you normally would see of course in the accessories and system tools and etc. does have some games there. Just your basics of what you would see. And of course for the office products, LibreOffice for all of your office needs. Uh, it does come in the internet section with some nice tools such as FileZilla for FTP. Firefox is the browser of choice with this and of course an instant messenger and chatting with IRC. I've been playing a little bit with this off and on. As I said it's been a very rough week for me. Um, long hours and so I was very desperate to find something that would be quick and easy to install, test out, play with for a bit, and hopefully be able to give you a decent review. This 
was one of those that I was pleasantly surprised with a random distribution for it to pop up. I was easily able to install Simple Screen Recorder and of course I believe it already came with GUVC. Um, don't quote me on that one, I can't remember. Some, some of these come with GUVC standard, some of these do not. Another thing that I just saw pop up that I forgot to mention was it does have this nifty little bar over here for your shortcuts. Kind of like the bar I use in my Gen 2 build. And of course you've got your little setup up here. As you can see I've just turned it on within the last thir almost 13 minutes while playing with it. Um, bouncing it a few times to see how it would respond to shut down. Now it does shut down very quickly. If you tell it to shut down, probably less than 10-15 seconds and I've got mine complete in the off position and ready to go. The repositories needed to be updated of course for the first time usage, but once that occurred I was able to update and run and install applications without an issue. Everything seemed to work very well. As I've said, there are a few lightweight distributions out there, but if Ubuntu is the way you like to roll, LXLE may be the way to go. <laughs> oh, this whole review kind of reminds me of maybe an infomercial, and I'm not trying to be an infomercial style guy here, but it just is the way it is. I really wanted to make sure that even though it was a rough week, I did get some time today to be able to focus on something for you to give back to the community as best I could. I do have a few requests in the works, so for the next couple weeks, work of course allowing, I hope to get those requests, requests processed and I hope to get the other distros up and running and working so we can try them out as well. This will be a short review for today. There really isn't much more to say. And I do try to keep some of these a little shorter than others. And so it is as it is. Thank you for watching. If it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, I hope you enjoy it. Try your LXLE on your next old system need and see if it works for you. And let me know if you also run into those same kind of networking issues or if maybe that was just a one-off for myself. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Bye guys.